The pacemaker is inserted through a catheter in the, in the groin, uh, and under x-ray we deliver it into the right ventricle. Delivered with a minimally invasive procedure, taking half the time of traditional pacemaker surgery, a device so small it actually fits inside the heart. I think in 20 years of doing this, uh, this is clearly uh, a huge leap in technology. That leap in technology has produced a cylindrical pacemaker smaller than a crayon to replace larger disc-shaped devices with wires or leads that can break or get infected. Through advances in technology, we're actually able to shrink the size of the pacemaker. University Hospital's Case Medical Center is part of a 50-site trial that will do 700 implantations over the next several years. I am very optimistic that within two to three years we'll be seeing this uh, type of pacemaker available for patients. Doctors implant about 100,000 pacemakers a year in the U.S. to fight cardiac artery disease, the number one killer of men and women in the United States.